January 5, the keynote of the Scripture. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Job 19.25 One of the most solemn and yet most glorious truths revealed in the Bible is that of Christ's second coming to complete the great work of redemption. To God's pilgrim people, so long left to sojourn in the region and shadow of death, a precious, joy-inspiring hope is given in the promise of his appearing, who is the resurrection and the life, to bring home again his banished. The doctrine of the second advent is the very keynote of the sacred scriptures. From the day when the first pair turned their sorrowing steps from Eden, the children of faith have waited the coming of the promised one to break the destroyer's power and bring them again to the lost paradise. Enoch only in the seventh and descent from them that dwelt in Eden, he who for three centuries on earth walked with his God, was permitted to behold from afar the coming of the Deliverer. Behold, he declared, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints to execute judgment upon all. The patriarch Job in the night of his affliction exclaimed with unshaken trust, I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. In my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another. May the God of all grace so enlighten your understanding that you may discern eternal things, that by the light of truth your own errors, which are many, may be discovered to you just as they are, that you may make the necessary effort to put them away, and in the place of this evil, bitter fruit may bring forth fruit which is precious unto eternal life. Humble your poor, proud, self-righteous heart before God. Get low, very low, all broken in your sinfulness at his feet. Devote yourself to the work of preparation. Rest not until you can truly say, My Redeemer liveth, and because he lives, I shall live also. If you lose heaven, you lose everything. If you gain heaven, you gain everything. Do not make a mistake in this matter. I implore you, eternal interests are here involved.